Although English is the most commonly spoken language in the United States, Spanish speakers still make up about 17% of the country's population. Despite Spanish speakers' prevalence, we'll see in Ramirez v. Plow that a drug manufacturer could still meet its duty to warn, even without translating its warnings to languages other than English. Researchers found a positive association between children ingesting aspirin during viral infections and children subsequently developing Rye syndrome, a rare disorder that can lead to permanent brain and liver damage. Plow Incorporated manufactured and distributed non-prescription children's aspirin. Even before a federal warning became mandatory, Plow included a warning on its packaging about the possible increased likelihood of developing Rye syndrome if a child took aspirin following a viral illness, listed symptoms to watch for, and advised that a doctor be contacted immediately if symptoms presented. The warning also instructed that dosage for children under two should be directed by a doctor. The information on the label was only written in English. When Jorge Ramirez was less than four months old, he had symptoms of an upper respiratory infection. Ramirez's mother was born in Mexico and was unable to read English. Without consulting a doctor or asking other household members to translate the package, Ramirez's mother gave him children's aspirin. After two days, his mother took him to the hospital where the doctor advised her to start other non-prescription treatments that didn't contain aspirin. Instead, she continued to give Ramirez aspirin. Ramirez later developed Rice syndrome, which led to severe neurological damage, including quadriplegia, blindness, and intellectual disability. Ramirez, through his mother as guardian ad litem, sued Plow in a California state trial court for negligently failing to warn of this possible side effect. The trial court granted summary judgment in Plow's favor. The California Court of Appeal reversed. Plow appealed to the California Supreme Court.